There's usually a danger when you cover fantasy or any other topic in pop culture that you may sometimes do an essay or reporting or update that's not entirely accurate. So I'm not here to pull down other YouTubers or how they do their coverage of Dune, but some have been alleging that Rebecca Ferguson called Frank Herbert a sexist. That's not what she said. Now, what she said is almost as bad, but she didn't really say that. So we're going to hear her speak in her own words, and she'll tell us what she thinks of Dune. I, I do know of what I, I remember Denny saying to me was he tried to stay as loyal to the book as possible, but you also need to adapt it to a you know, 2021 audience especially with how women were perceived and how they were written in the 60s etc you know she needs to be so much more relatable um and i don't know if that shift was hard for them to do it felt very natural and easy reading the script and acting it um but i think they've done a very good job to recreate the book into a film i, I don't know what do you think so as you can see, she is affirming that Denis and her are trying to stay faithful to the book, but that they do feel that, in some ways, Dune was behind the times. She never calls Frank Herbert a sexist. She doesn't use that language. Still, there is the implication that somehow Frank Herbert's, I guess, quote-unquote, real attitudes were, at the very least, very regressive, and the adaptation is going to cure that defect. In other words, a lot of women in Dune have a lower social status. And to some degree, this is true. Lady Jessica is serving Duke Leto. Shani is serving the Fremen, and so on and so forth. We do have, of course, the Bene Gesserit, who are very powerful. But overall, many female characters don't have a lot of power or agency onto themselves. Now, the obvious response would be, so what? That doesn't matter. It, it has to work within the fiction. Women are being placed in a certain level because of what it means for the fiction, for it to work as a fiction. But apparently Denis and Rebecca agrees that that may be all true, but we should still alter the books to be more enlightened, I guess. Uh, because as she says, we need to work for a modern audience, which just begs the question, well, what do we mean by that? I mean, again, I'm not a big fan of Lord of the Rings, the adaptation, and I do think they departed much too far from the text. However, I would credit with Peter Jackson with at least trying to retain some aspects of Tolkien for a modern audience. And although he changed way too much for my taste, he did at least leave certain aspects unaltered. So, so this seems like a really false argument. The whole point of tapping into that source material or that story is because it's universal and timeless. Of course, it always has the defects of its time period. There's no doubt about that. I'm not going to go in depth into this particular subject, but there's no doubt there's a lot of homophobia in that book. That's very, very clear when you read it carefully. But so be it. That's a defect of Frank Herbert. An adaptation can choose to either emphasize that, as the Lynch adaptation did, or just ignore it. I myself, if I were adapting Dune, would just slightly de-emphasize it. But again, I, don't, I wouldn't eliminate it because that is Frank Herbert's vision. You may disagree with it, but it is part of how he saw the world. But in terms of this particular issue, I really don't see it. I think I've always thought that Dune did have a very strong feminist message. It just was very implicit. And it's very, very obvious in terms of that he's deconstructing the male hero. You're not really supposed to be celebrating Paul's victory over the Baron and the Emperor. You're supposed to see it as a very cautionary tale. I think that's the consensus view. I know a lot of people who read Dune read it at a much more simple level. They do think it's a hero's journey, and that's the end of it. I just don't think that's going to be able to sustain itself when you read the book carefully. So, to recap, no, she didn't call Frank Herbert a sexist, but... It is still alarming that she and Denis think, well, there's something wrong here and we need to really update the book. Why? For what reason? Is he communicating a sexist message? How? He has women warriors and powerful witches. That seems a really, really bizarre tack to take on Dune. But I think I understand in terms of, the, and we can't avoid this in terms of the modern politics, the Me Too movement, and certain situations that have occurred now. But Dune is commenting on that and it's certainly not approving of those things. I don't think you can see that book. I don't see how you can read that book and see how somehow that Frank Herbert is approving of patriarchy at all. It seems that patriarchal figures over and over again are being shown to be very flawed and that these systems need to change. So I'm really puzzled as to where they're even generating that attitude that the book needs to be improved. If they can show me it, 
I'm willing to concede, yeah, maybe this part of the section or this episode really needs to be rethought, but I don't know. I, I, I don't see any reason to alter the major themes or the basic story. If you want to beef up certain female roles, that's fine. But why do you want to alter the basic story? I, I just don't see the point. Dune is about gender and about power. And I think it does have a feminist message. It just doesn't have it, I guess, in an explicit enough fashion. But why would that be a bad thing? That's just Frank Herbert's style. So again, she didn't call him a sexist. So some YouTubers who have said that, I think, have just gone it wrong. I understand why they did it, because again, Rebecca has said certain things over and over again. And if she identifies as a feminist, that's fine. If she misreads the book, that's fine. But I think her and Denis taking a very naive view of the book and just assuming Frank Herbert does have these attitudes without any evidence whatsoever is not fine. Why would we think just because a lot of science fiction in the 1960s was sexist? I don't disagree with the generalization. That's probably true. But why would we think this particular case verifies that? Why do we think Dune necessarily is a part of its time period? I always thought the reason we like Dune at all is because it's so far ahead of its time. But I guess this is going to be another issue with the fandom of where Dune sits. Was it behind the times or ahead of its time? I'm going to elect it's ahead of the times, especially in terms of gender, except in that one part with homophobia, which I agree is very regressive. But again, if we want to read the story in its actual original form, we can't just get rid of that either. And that's my take on these situations. And that's my take on Rebecca's interpretation of Dune. Thank you for listening.